Okay, Buenos Cameron Diaz. Welcome to Pedro TV and welcome to the New South Wales Art Gallery. I'm here with my very good friend Alex Wisser. How are you going, Alex? Good. We're here, we're going to go inside this building and look at the work of the 17th uh, Sydney Biennale. Um, I'm excited. Uh, we're going to walk up those steps. Let's go. We're going to look at art and we're going to talk about it. So come along. So Alex and I are standing in front of a long work by the Japanese artist uh, Yamaguchi Akira. And you, you asked to stand here? Yeah. How come? Well, um, I, I basically I wanted to talk about this one first because I think it has a certain relationship to what I've seen, you know, this entire show of, the, um, of this section of the, of the Biennale. And, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously an integration of uh, traditional Japanese technique and uh, formal um, uh, consideration with a, with a modernist realist uh, backdrop, but also subject matter. You, you also have this Eiffel Tower-ish sort of structure that's uh, sort of you know has these pagodas mushrooming uh, on it, and you know it's it's almost for me a kind of a, a dream of integration. You know that of, of integrating the, the traditional uh, past uh, 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 and, and culture and heritage of, of, of Japanese culture, and and I find that's kind of the thing. It seems to be a curatorial decision to choose works that, that really um, highlight or, or play off of um, the integration of, uh, of specific Asian uh, traditional traditions and, and modern concerns and, uh, and, and modernist uh, art practices, contemporary art practices. Now, I'm going to jump in because this, a lot of this work reminds me of, of the work of the White Rabbit Gallery we've seen before, because the artists are sometimes very critical, but they do it in a very subtle, nuanced way, um, especially the Chinese artists. And I think what we're seeing here as well, they're criticising the sort of rampant development, uh, which in some ways, you know, traditions are being lost or superseded. Uh, cities are being uh, uh, overbuilt and, uh, you know, the whole tension between people in the, in the countryside coming to the cities to work. Um, if you look really closely along this panel, you'll see that, yeah, I mean, it's actually a uh, radio station mast, okay? Now, as we move down, you know, you've got a great big bloody hole in the ground, you've got cranes. Um, you must have some sort of uh, ceremony where, you know, all these people are sort of uh, sitting. Uh, it's a very traditional scene. Uh, there's some Western hats and Western uh, top uh, dress. So, you know, in one way, yes, he's capturing the development of a, um, of a, of a radio station mask, but he's also, I think, a bit critical. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think that he's creating a, he's kind of creating a contrast between what the, what the traditional subject matter of this work would have been, which would have been a celebration of something. Yeah, normally and, they do it as a celebration. Yeah, and they're actually showing it as a form, something that can't quite be celebrated. This is I mean, a lovely. We can, you know, appreciate our lives in the same way that that that, that tradition allowed us to. This is what I love. See these these sort of clouds, which are you associate in Chinese and Japanese painting. Here, that um, he's used it as smog. These are smog. This is smog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's these little subtle. Um, yes, he's playing with traditional forms, but there's a little criticism. There's a kind of. Yeah, it, it's almost a, a, a attempting to imagine, uh, you know. A, Contemporary existence as a traditional, uh, as a traditional form, and, and and that creates a comparison that you know that can't be they can't ignore. You know, that's he's comparing it to the idyllic, you know, uh, uh, paradigms yeah. that, 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 that the traditional world was, was usually based on. And, and, and he almost it's, like, it's almost models. convincing. There's, you know, it still looks pretty beautiful, and even though it's, it's a city, sprawling city, it's still there's a kind of elegance and beauty. Yeah. But, you know, and, and you also the, the you support is also quite, you know, something out of Ikea in a way, you know, <laughs> a little bit chintzier. You're saying yeah. Kira is from Ikea? Yeah, Ikea, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, next one, next one, I think. Right. This may go out. We might do that. Yeah. 
we're standing now in front of a, a large uh, photographic uh, montage or photographic uh, tableau. Tableau, yeah. Tableau, tableau. Uh, by a Chinese artist by the name of Wang Wing Song. Now, I thought of you, Alex, when I first saw this. But, you know, the presentation and the themes. Uh, what do you think of this image? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's a beautiful image. I think, you know, but uh, you, are, you are a photographer that creates tableaus yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, I too, uh, yeah, I did a, a slightly different kind of, but it, I mean, it, it is, you know, it's no different. This is a very painterly, Tableau is a painterly uh, tradition, and, and so Tableau photography is actually integrating, you know, photography copying the, into, copying, copying into, into, into the, 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 the traditions of painting. So, it, the stances is not necessarily, but the setup is as well, and, and a lot of the things, a lot of the, the ways the composition will be structured is, is actually painterly, as opposed to, you know, what we think of. He's the main guy, you think he's the artist? He looks like the artist. Draw I think. Yeah. You, you've got an attentive woman standing yeah, next to him. Yeah, slightly high uh, upper class, I thought, when I saw her. Surrounded by the workers. And the workers who were in, and, and, and everything here is about, it's, a, it's all about ascension. You know, it's all about going up. It's all about getting climbing higher and higher. We have this little thing, <laughs> thing as well. It, you know, it's about ambition and... Um, but even, even the person at the heights are just doing a laboring kind of job. Yeah, yeah. The person just yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. There's, there's, a, there's a woman quite nicely dressed here carrying a bucket of something. Glue or something. Yeah, and so what you end up with is something that's actually, you know, in a way. I mean, I, it's, it's the photograph is very beautiful, but the scene itself is very ugly. Yeah, you know, it's, it's covered that, that in sense of detritus. Yeah, I say detritus. I say detritus. See, we never agree, but, but you uh, say I say tomato. <laughs> now, listen, yeah, what do you think of that? I mean, um, I mean, well, I, 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 I suppose it just feels like in the composition, you know, there's, there's, there's incidents everywhere and uh, you've got the main staircase, you know, that's a compositional element. Mm. He's arguing that the Chinese companies are, have this sort of race to plaster over international companies and vertices and vice versa. And he's commenting on, you know, Local companies versus international can't, yeah, companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is visual you know, pollution. It's just funny because you know if you think about about the works here and, and these, you know, the the the, um, the intersection between these localized traditions, craft traditions, mm. and and globalization and, and, and international. I mean, which is very much what all this is about. And all of the subject matter tends to be about this as well. Is it you know? Is it basically is people attempting to integrate and, and, and discover ways through their own localized traditions to view modernity, to respond to, to it. view their own yeah. particular localized modernity. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is not globalization. Is you know, is not an unlocalized uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. people well, very, different, very differently. It's going to be global. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it, but it, but but frankly, you, you've always got your feet on the ground somewhere. Yeah, and and, and that's going to matter. And, 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 ma and maybe they're drawing their spiritual strength from traditions and people they you know artworks they love, or, or just the language. You know, just something. Um, yeah, I mean the Chinese are quite interesting because so much of what they developed and, and, and the art world, the Chinese art world, it, like it's not immediately apparent how that. How that derives from, you know, traditional Chinese culture. Yeah. yeah. You know, but it's very specific. It's you know, you could recognize it anyway. They, you know, they've they've encountered something, and, and perhaps that's only, you know, that's only arisen out of the particular modernity that they are experiencing. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah. I can tell you, but I think, I think that's a bit quite. Okay. That's good. Thanks. We'll move on.